fire. Now, tonight, we still don't know Elam's mental health history and privacy laws will likely never make them public. Tonight, we continue our team coverage. Channel 3's David McKay spoke exclusively with a friend of the suspect. Matthew Campbell asked an expert to analyze that video, and Matthew is live in Middletown now with what they're saying. Matthew? Dennis and Denise, the expert that we spoke with, labeled these ramblings and this behavior as psychotic. But what we don't know is if this was the doing of drugs or if this was just a man who snapped. This is a brief clip of a two-minute-long live stream broadcast by Stephen Ellum. It chronicles his attack on Middlesex Hospital. Clearly, there was something going on in his mind that made him believe that he had to do this. Pat Reamer is the president of the Behavioral Health Network for Hartford Healthcare. Since she has not treated Ellum, her perspective comes only from viewing the live stream in which we hear the 27-year-old, who in the past had multiple assault arrests, making references to the New World Order, President Trump, and possibly being Jesus Christ. He didn't realize where this was going to end or how painful this was going to be, but if he thought he was Jesus Christ, and maybe that uh, he thought he was going to somehow survive this miraculously. Many want to know why Elam, who according to friends, once told them he attacked a prostitute because she was a, quote, sinner, had the awareness to broadcast this. Friends told Eyewitness News Elam sent out Facebook friend requests before the live stream. Perhaps he thought he was doing it for whoever was telling him to do this and that he wanted to prove that he'd done it. While all the answers may never be known, Reamer says some of the biggest mysteries will be unlocked by the toxicology reports. It could be a drug-induced psychosis or it could be related to a disease process. And knowing which one I would think would be important, maybe even for the family, to know that this wasn't something they missed. Now, Elam is at Bridgeport's burn unit, and Reamer has this advice for any loved ones. If you notice any isolated behavior or anyone making any paranoid statements, that's when you might want to intervene. That's the latest live here in Middletown tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News. Okay, Matthew, thank you. Now to an Eyewitness News exclusive. My heart totally shattered as soon as I saw his name on the news. I was, like, crying. A patient at Middlesex Hospital when it was attacked is also a friend of Ellum. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses, where David McKay has been following the story since the beginning. He joins us now with this new information. David? I just checked in with Bridgeport Burn Unit, and they said that Stephen Ellum is still alive and in critical condition. Here at Middlesex Hospital, they've put up barriers, as they have at their other hospitals throughout the state, and opened up a temporary space indoors for their emergency department. Meanwhile, authorities and friends are still trying to figure out what went through this young man's mind. Police said 27-year-old Stephen Ellum intentionally crashed his car into the ER entrance at Middlesex Hospital in Middletown around 10 o'clock yesterday morning and then lit himself on fire. I was in here yesterday for a little problem I had and then I basically heard about it when I got out. Like everybody told me, I didn't know till later on that it was my friend that I knew. Melissa Costas said she was a patient at the hospital at the time of the crash. But she also knew Elam. He's one of the people you would never think would be about this type of stuff. Elam live streamed the events on his Facebook. And the social media giant has been working to take any shared videos down due to their disturbing nature. Everybody told me it was this kid, it was this kid. I was like, that can't be him because he's not like that. Eyewitness News viewer video showed us some of the first images in the aftermath. And Drone 3 was the first in the sky to give you a bird's eye look. Elam was taken by Life Star to Bridgeport Burn Unit, where he was last listed in critical condition. A security guard at the hospital was treated for smoke inhalation, but thankfully there were no other injuries. It's here, like I was, I, they had to move us because there was a big fire or whatever, and I was so tired I didn't even want to get up. And then, like, then there's a fire, you got to get up. So they moved us. FBI, ATF, state and local police descended on Elam's home on Millardo Lane soon after the crash and said he has a lengthy criminal history in Connecticut dating back to 2008 with charges including driving under the influence and assault but so far no motive has been brought forth hoping he's okay and I hope he gets help and I hope he's like I hope he realizes what he did Elam's former employers at Iliano's restaurant where he was a dishwasher said he quit suddenly the day before the crash 
Now, the Department of Public Health has offered resources to the hospital. Visitors are once again allowed to visit, visit with patients, and there is still heightened security. Live in Middletown tonight, David McKay, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, David. Now, new